Pardon me, I'm at this charger. This was the first Nollywood Jesus. film ever made. Come on with the blood of Jesus. It was about witchcraft, money, and betrayal, and had Nigerian audiences hooked when it came out in 1992. Its title was Living in Bondage, and it was produced by Nigerian filmmaker Okechuku Okonjuefo, considered by many to be the father of Nollywood. What I'm trying to use in saying that film is that it, you, must, you don't need to belong to places that are against your conscience for you to make money. God will always reward you at a time when he feels it's due. Well, I didn't go into film production uh, by accident. I actually set out to be um, a filmmaker. So I got my training, came to Lagos. But since I could not do a film on celluloid, which is what it was my training, I, I said to myself there must be a way around it. There must be a new way to do the old things. And that new way was trying to invent, you know, to, to uh, experiment with um, VHS camera. That experiment was what we did in Living in Bondage, and today that experiment has culminated into what you find and people call Nollywood. Though the film was an instant hit, Okechuku says he didn't make much money because of piracy. He blames the government for not doing enough to support new filmmakers like himself. After releasing successive award-winning films, Okechuku was still not able to repay loans taken for the productions. Fed up with a pirate, the producer decided to venture into TV drama instead. Let's, let's, let's go now. Action! Now, Unandi, you don't go there this, this I need my last money now. Hours. You don't go there this I hour. need my money right now. Well, yeah, cool down, cool down. This thing will be way too good to talk for a street. Why you know they now? behave like gentlemen? Yeah, you say, if I, if, if, I, if, I, if I did what? God! Well, this thing. <laughs> <laughs> so what I did was to play on TV because it's a training I have. So I went on TV since that time. And I have three production, three soap opera series on, product, on, 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 on the air now. And that's where I make my money. As long as you're doing a very good movie, you're a candidate of piracy. The moment you go to location, they start buying materials to wait for your, for your job. And there are so many. Piracy is so bad, so bad that almost every Friday here, trailer loads of CDs made in Nigeria are crossing the border. One of his soaps known as Siberia is currently running on local TV channels. The series explores events taking place in the lives of a group of friends living in Lagos. You sit there working on your PC, doing what you love to do best. On the other hand, I sit in this house rotting away. I can't even achieve my dreams. Where is all this coming from? Tell me. You were the one that said six years ago that you suddenly became disenchanted with modeling. The mother of my son. And modeling is certainly not for you. I hear you. I hate the way you make this sound. I hate it, Yvonne. You're spoiling for a fight. Who cares? Ah. You're really spoiling for a fight. Chuku may have abandoned filmmaking, but the industry he pioneered continues to employ tens of thousands of people today, bringing in over $200 million annually. An average Nollywood film sells about 50,000 copies, yet in Lagos alone, millions of bootleg copies go for just one US dollar, undercutting Nollywood's price of two US dollars. The sales are great. Once you make a good movie, you will sell beyond your imaginations. You can't even imagine the quantity you are going to sell since the movie is interesting. So anybody that tells you that Nigerian movie doesn't sell, that person doesn't make a good movie. It was my wife the next. They convinced her that government investment in the industry is still slow. Most movies are shot on digital cameras with tight budgets, while sound and picture quality is often compromised. I've lost everything. In, in Africa, you pick up a Tavara award, then what you're making is... To encourage Nollywood filmmakers to improve on quality, Okechuku and other business partners recently came together and formed the Africa Audiovisuals Awards, or TAVA, which will reward professionalism in Nigerian movies. The first award ceremony was held in July this year and attracted many of the country's media personalities. 
and the award goes to over the years all awards concentrate on giving those who are the face of everything the actors but those who make them behind have been neglected and so we feel that the reason why we have poor sound and poor quality even when we have good equipment to produce things is because we have not told these people who are behind the scene that you are doing well he's a visionary he has dreams and then um, he, he, he is part of the history of Nollywood because he was the producer of the film Living in Bondage that gave, you know, that inspired Nollywood as we have it today. So he came from a background of strength in creativity, vision, you know, and the character to pursue such ideals. So I, I am proud of him. Most Nollywood producers are still determined to exploit the lucrative movie market that's available to them. But Okechuku wants to see more government support and strict laws enacted if filmmakers here are to benefit and help build a reputable film industry. You won't have that much control.